What up, IDS Mob? Harry Wilmington here. And I want to have a real talk with you guys for a second. You know, I come on here and I give you guys relationship and dating advice that I think is really helpful and beneficial to be able to help you figure out how to connect with women, how to approach them, how to really build strong bonds and whatnot, all right? And uh, I also have a program coming out uh, the, on November 1st called the Introvert Dating Success uh, Membership Academy, whereby you'll be able to get literally hundreds of hours of advice on various parts of the dating game. It's basically like the Netflix of dating advice. So you can join the waitlist for that, by the way, at introvertdatingsuccess.com. You'll get a free PDF that'll help you out with your dating life, right? So this is stuff that I do. Like I give you guys advice and ideally it's helping you to get to the kind of women that you want to get with, or if you've been having problems in your relationship, it's able to help you figure out what you're doing wrong so you can correct those things and make things get on the right path. So today's message might seem kind of weird, but my general message is this, is that sometimes it's not going to work out. There's as much as you could go about studying certain techniques or learning certain communication tactics, the reality is there's going to be women you come across that just for whatever reason, you're not going to be able to make it work. This is especially true of women that are narcissistic or women that come from unhealthy or abusive backgrounds or just women that are just all about themselves and are really more about, you know, doing what's best for them and not really caring about what you, what they can do for you in their relationship. All right. And I think this is as equally important of a message as one would be telling you you're a great guy and if you build yourself up in the right way, you can get any woman you want because there's some truth to that, but you could be doing everything right. You could get my programs. You could get other gurus programs out there. You could really study up on how to communicate better with a woman, how to, you know, have what we call ethical fights where you're listening to each other and, you know, but recognize in all these things that there are always two people involved in a relationship. That's you and that other person. And what you'll find if you date long enough is that sometimes that other person either doesn't have it all together or doesn't have the same education that you have in terms of what things they need to be doing to make a relationship work. And you can't make a relationship work if you're the only one that's coming to the table with certain skill sets or knowing how to do certain things to keep a relationship together. Perfect example. Let's say you, like early on when you first started dating, you used to get in fights all the time. You know, for whatever reason, like when, if, you know, if a woman disagreed with you about something, you want to yell, you want to scream, you want to tell her all this, this and that. And so you say, you know what? I recognize my, my fighting technique could be better. I got to learn to listen to the other person. So you study books, you look at various YouTube videos, and you learn over time how to be able to sit there, to take in information, to listen to what the other person is having to say, to empathize with them, to be able to repeat back to them what the things that they're going through, and then you know how to be able to take that criticism in a less personal way and recognize that the criticism is only coming because they ultimately care for you and they just they want to be with you, but certain aspect of your personality or how you're trying to handle them isn't working the way that, that it works for them. And so you learn all these things, so you're able to sit down and have a good conversation with somebody, and you know the next time a fight comes up, you're gonna be able to be rational about that, right? But what if you get with somebody that doesn't have that same skill set? What if you get with somebody who they wanna constantly overtalk you, or they wanna constantly bring up past things, or they wanna insult you during the course of the fight, or they wanna like not be near you at all, just walk away from the fight and not even hear what you have to say, right? So. You could come to somebody like me and be like, hey, Harry, so, you know, I keep getting these situations with my girlfriend where, like, I'm trying to talk to her about things, but she keeps, like, yelling at me and screaming and calling me out of my name and, you know, is always, you know, using straw man arguments to talk about something else that I should have done, yada, 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 and I don't know what to do. I could give you all the help in the world. I could give you all the techniques you need to know. But what if you already know those things and you're saying, but Harry, I know how to do all that stuff, but she's still not listening. At that point... We'd have to look at like what her situation is, what her background is, how she grew up, how she was raised, uh, what her fighting style was in a home growing up, if she saw her parents fight a whole lot and yell and scream or whatever like that, and then come to a consensus that like maybe this other person isn't the healthiest person that knows these certain things. And at that point, if they're a person that's not actively working 
on her communication issues as it pertains to you being in fights with her, I could be giving you logical advice that would work on a woman that was maybe more healthy. But if you're not dealing with like a rational woman that came from like a healthy environment, then no amount of tips or techniques are going to help you with this person. And so this is why I say sometimes you might have to just walk away altogether because you might, you might want it to work so bad with the woman that you're thinking I'm willing to do anything that I need to do to see to that she's happy with me and to make this work out. And again, sometimes that woman is not going to be in a place where she's going to ever be that kind of person. And I don't want you to feel like a failure. And I also don't want you to have one itis on any, this is why we, I preach like don't have one itis for any one particular woman, because you need to be ready at any moment. If this woman starts showing you narcissistic traits or is doing things that are unhealthy to the relationship, you don't want to be so stuck up on her that you can't see what it's like and be like, oh crap, I need to get out of this. And so many guys stay stuck in situations because they don't want to be alone and because they don't see themselves having any other prospects that they you end up staying in an unhealthy situation with the person that's creating an unhealthy environment for you and the people around you, all right? So recognize that sometimes part of being successful is at dating is also recognizing when a situation that you've gotten yourself into is not a good situation and that you got to get out of it. And I think the other thing a problem a lot of guys have is being able to recognize that and then actually break it off with that person. Because it's really hard. You don't want to hurt the woman's feelings. You want to, you know, especially women that come to you with sob stories like, oh, the world's always walked on me and guys always dumped me. Like women will give a really good sob story at the beginning talking about how every guy's hurt them and that they always end up in abusive relationships and yada, yada, yada. So you could be feeling like the knight in shining armor thinking, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to show her what a guy can really be. And then she's going to realize that guys are different and fall in love. And that'll be all handy. That'll be all great. Right. But like, as you get more into the relationship with that person, you could start to see like, oh, so she either tries to get into abusive situations or if she's not getting abused, she's trying to set scenarios where she can be because again, unhealthy past unhealthy childhood, whatever, whatever. But like, again, so when these things happen, you got to be able to recognize them and say, this isn't the right place for me to be because I want you ultimately to be in a relationship that makes you happy, that's healthy, and that is safe. And again, sometimes that means recognizing when it's not going to work out. So don't view that as a failure. Don't feel that as like, oh my God, I got to, you know, be superhero guy and show her different because I can guarantee you I've been that guy that's tried that. And all these women you're out here trying to stay with because you want to save them from themselves or save them from, you know, show them what a real guy's like and, you know, show that, you know, then you can be appreciative of a guy like you or whatever like that. A lot of times those women are damaged goods and you don't need to stay with damaged goods regardless of how pretty she is or how good the hookup in the bedroom is because long term, it's going to stress you out and can lead to other dangerous things, all right? So I just wanted to put that out there. I like to keep most of my messages positive in terms of like, oh, this is how you get a woman, and this is how you you know, attract her, and this is how you you know, connect with her and bond, but there's no being able to do that in a, in a realistic way with a woman that's coming from a negative space or is unhealthy, all right? So hopefully, guys, this helps you out. But in the meantime, go to the website, introvertdatingsuccess.com and sign up for my waitlist for my program, Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy. For a low monthly fee, you're going to have access to hundreds of hours of advice uh, from audio, video, and PDFs that are about various aspects of the dating game. So if you need, for example, see a video on you know how to text properly or why it is that you know a woman would leave you for X amount of reasons or Y, whatever, you're going to be able to see those kind of videos and really get insights into how women work and what you, what you should be doing in order to keep a long lasting relationship. If that's something that appeals to you, sign up for the wait list. So when the doors open on November 1st, you'll be the first one to know. And also I'll be sending out weekly things that kind of give you uh, previews of some of the stuff to expect inside of that program. All right. That's at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel at youtube.com slash Harry Wilmington. And uh, if you want to show your monetary support, click on one of the links below or go to the website and click on the tip jar tab. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.